Hello everyone and welcome to a flamboyant looking small sedan that promises to be practical, fun and also thrill to drive which is this new MG GT. So in today's video we're going to be finding out everything in detail about this car but before we move forward please click on that red subscription button and next to that there's a bell icon make sure to press that and leave all the notifications on so that way you will never miss any video updates from my channel because 90 percent of my audience hasn't subscribed and only 10 percent which is quite a small fraction and these videos are free so you can probably subscribe red button press that go now do that so first let me start off with the color because that is pretty radical in terms of a small car with a lot of color choices so you get four different colors actually five different colors which is this yellow red green there's also a black and there is also a silver and let me start off with the front out here so you get this flaming grill out here which is what mg calls it and a big mg badge out here this grill is pretty big and the whole front end looks pretty aggressive that way in terms of its appearance at the bottom there's another plastic trim which is given which is made to look like a carbon fiber which is just the normal plastic more grills at the bottom some more you know aerodynamic parts that have been given out here so there is like an actual vent which is given out here right next to this plastic trim which is given so this is a functional vent so air flows in and comes out from the back and a very stooping front if you see so like it's all going down as a design and then when you come to these headlights these are the led headlights they are completely adaptive and dynamic led headlight cluster that you get there are also couple of drls which are given on the edges of the headlights and there are also turn signals which pop up in the inside one of the led lights turns into the turn signals but yeah this is like the led package which you get pretty much on all the models on this mg gt which is your standard the comms and also the luxury pack which is this one now on the side you get 17 inch alloy rims which is available on the comfort and the luxury pack which is this one and these are the alloy rims which are also in a dual tone color options which are available and at the bottom there's no skirtings or anything but rather a thick line that goes from the front till the back when you come to these side mirrors these are power foldable side mirrors they are also power adjustable they also don't have the blind spot warning inside them there's also a turn signal which is given but they also have one of the cameras from the 360 degree camera system but this car luxury pack is only offered in the 360 degree camera options there's also a chrome strip that continues half one from the front and goes till the back and when you come to these doors the front doors are the keyless entry doors and there is also a sunroof that is given on the top and these tail lights that continue onto the side profile and also this line that continues along with this tail light as well so the tail light is actually a part of that design feature as well now the rear end of the mg gt may look like a certain car but when you continue these Tail lights are the LED tail light. There are also the signature lights which are given in the back in these tail lights as well. And there are also these reflector strips which are given on either side. And the whole rear bumper is meant to look a lot more sportier than you know the normal bumper that you would usually find like a round one. And at the bottom you would notice this plastic diffuser that has been given, and in the center houses a fog light as well. And then there are these two exhaust tips which are given they are not the real ones the exhaust tip is behind the bumper but these are just for the car to look a little more sportier and they are dual and they have the chrome tips around that and on top there's this chrome badging in mg and also the mg gt which is in red and when you come to the visibility it's actually pretty restricted that way because this glass is pretty sloping that way so you get thick pillars and you can see about the top view from this rear view mirror as well and when you come to the boot space that was pretty quick right yeah that's pretty good when the rear seats are up you can put 401 liters of luggage in the bag and it's pretty even that way the space itself but there is a bit of a lip out here so putting a luggage in and out is going to be a slight effort out here there are also plastic scruff plates which are given out here and at the bottom of this boot floor you would find a temporary spare wheel that has been given but there are no mounting points or anything out here but it's of just the boot space that has been given now the rear seats are foldable in just one single form like you can literally just fall down the rear seats but 
in order to do that i will have to actually go on both the sides and then do the seats so yeah let me just tell you when the rear seats are folded down you can put like larger objects in there so like flatter objects if you want you can just stuff in there that is going to happen but there's a bit of a step out there as well so make sure you keep that in mind too but it's only for if you have any longer objects then you can use that to put the luggage in the back of this mg gt now even though this is a small car which is intended to be used for everyday purposes but yet there are some more touches which are given out here that makes this car pretty sporty that way and also in terms of the appearance yes it looks quite aggressive as well and also it's practical at the same time but let me start off with the material quality you get plastic dashboard out here lots of plastic here as well there's a little bit of pattern in here the door cards again are plastic and there are lots of design and patterns on the door cards as well like out here there's a carbon fiber near the door handle out here on the sides there's honeycomb at the bottom near the speaker grill those are like the dented ones so that's again like a honeycomb structure which has been given so yeah lots of patterns on the door card itself there's also this brushed aluminum plastic which has been given out here and then this black color diamond pattern which is a glossy plastic more aluminum brushed plastic trim which is given near the gear lever so the whole cockpit itself is inspired from a fighter jet which is what mg likes to call it so a lot of elements are borrowed from the, there like you know in terms of the design so it's all inspired from there some buttons which are given out here i'm going to come to that as well out here there's just normal plastic at the bottom levels and the seats are all in leather so yeah it's a mixture of plastic and leather so wherever you are going to be touching the car that's all soft as well but otherwise everywhere else is plastic now when you come to the driver's display this is a 12.3 inch digital display that has been given on this mg gt and on either side you would find on one side your speed and on the other side the rpm in the center you would find the information where if you want to see your car you can see that like all the time and then there is like the date option then you go down and then there is the dynamic driving management so that what makes it a little more thrill because if you are like going to be tracking this car or i don't know if you're going to be around going quick then you can see how much your torque acceleration power and all that is happening along with the g meter there's also the accelerate timing so you can time yourself how quick this car is which is apparently 8.5 seconds this can go from 0 to 100 so you can time that as well then your current journey your accumulated journey your tire pressure then your fuel consumption your battery then the fuel efficient driving it shows you in terms of the graphs and it does stuff so you can see where your driving style is then you come back to your main screen which is your car again then you go on to the right side where there is a menu option then there is the driving assist that shows you on your screen then there is the warning and then again you come back to the vehicle option so this is pretty much your screen that way in terms of its appearance and everything there is all the information that is laid out straight in front of you now when you come to this steering wheel this is a a uh, leather covered steering wheel with the red stitching that has been given and it's half perforated steering wheel with the flat bottom to make it a little more sportier as well and the steering wheel size is pretty good as well and then the steering wheel is manually adjustable which is your just the tilt and not the telescopic so you can adjust the tilt levels that's about it and on the right side you would find the buttons for your driver's display which you can change from here all the buttons and also the communication buttons the voice command buttons and also there is the star button so when you press that you can go into the home screen and you can change the different settings that you want to change with it so like if you want your smartphone or your car or your home to come from there so you can press that button and you can directly go there and then you can change from this infotainment screen and on the left side you would find the buttons for your infotainment and all your media controls and also the source and the phone button to answer and pick up your phone and cut it and all of that buttons and behind there are paddle shifters which are the plastic ones and they are a little tiny ones to my liking but yes you can still reach out when you're turning it around so yeah that's the paddle shifters which has been given and also there is a normal cruise control that has been given on this mg gt the stick for that is mounted behind the steering wheel which is when you turn you can see it but yeah 
otherwise it's always you have to memorize it what it does usually so yeah that stick is given in the back now when it comes to the air conditioning controls those are mounted inside the infotainment screen so you can use it from there itself but there are buttons which are given for your quick access into that system which is your on and off button which is given in the center so you press it and then it glows into orange which is on and then on the edge there is a button for your air conditioning you go inside and then you can change the air conditioning settings from here so you get a single zone air conditioning system on this mg gt so you can change your temperature from here and then you go back and then you can change your fan speed and then you on the sides you can change the flow of air and everything there's also an air purifying option which is only available on the luxury model which is this one then the on and off button and all of that but you can even go outside and you can access it from top where you can see the temperature and everything that has been given on top so it shows you all the time what's the temperature fan speed and everything from here so you can press that also and you can access into the the air conditioning system as well and then you can go out and then you come into the main infotainment screen now the vents for the air conditioning controls are given at the bottom and also on either side of the the dashboard and the vents also have this honeycomb structure and it's all got the glossy plastic trim that has been given onto it now when you come to this infotainment system this is a 10.1 inch infotainment display that has been given on this mggt which is more like a rectangular long one and it's also angled towards the driver a lot aggressively towards the driver so that while on the move you can operate it as well and there is this tiny guy so usually when you start the car there is this tiny guy that would pop up that is basically like you know when the system is loading but that's a cool way to show and it has an mg helmet on top of it and then when it's loaded you can see the entire infotainment screen and on your main screen you would find the options for your music radio and the connectivity options and you can even customize these widgets as well by long pressing it so you can do that as well and then you can slide and then you are led into the detail options like your video pictures then the hvac you can go from here also include the air conditioning system and then the 360 degree camera system which you can switch on from here so you have 2d 3d options all of that that you can see from here select the different camera angles then when you go back and then you have the settings options in which you will find your bluetooth audio display time your systems and uh, the radio settings and everything from here and then you come back into the home page so that's your main menu option that you get and then there are more options which are given on the sides for your music so when the device is connected to connect then the radio options where you find your connectivity options so in terms of the connectivity you can connect to this infotainment system using the usb bluetooth and there is also the wired android auto and apple carplay so you can use your maps using the android auto and apple carplay so that will solve your map issues as well then there is the vehicle settings in which you will find your lightning settings where everything from all your light systems how you can control all of that is given your locking your driving assist the driver handling so there are no dedicated sport mode in this one but you can change the eco driving stability control and the steering setup from your itself from the screen then there is the air conditioning settings and then the other settings where you can change the steering wheel button as i mentioned i'm going to be also doing a detailed video on how to use this infotainment system which is going to be coming out after this video so make sure to you know, subscribe to the channel so you can watch this video as well that video as well whenever it is going to be coming out there are also buttons which are given at the bottom so most of them are for your air conditioning controls. then there is the home button if you want to come into the main screen and then on either uh, on the edge of it you will find the volume buttons which is your plus and the minus i wish there was like a knob or something because it's much more easier while you're on the move now when you come to the charging you have two usb ports which are given out here which are your standard usb ports and there's also one 12 volt power socket which is given underneath the air conditioning control and there's one more normal usb port which is given for the rear passenger now as i mentioned there is also this gear lever which is inspired from the fighter jet so that's how the design is of this whole gear lever but i i like it i actually like this gear lever as well now when you come to the sunroof you get a normal sunroof that you get on this mggt and yeah it's kind of decent it opens pretty well and i'm still gonna close it because it's a little hot today so 
yeah, it's better to just keep it closed. There's also an SOS button that has been given. Now, in terms of the storage, you can put about one liter to one and a half liter worth of bottles in the door cards and some more storage on the side. There's also this one more storage underneath the air conditioning vents where you can store your phones and wallets. There are two flexible cup holders which are given. There's also this center armrest in which again you can put your phones and wallets. There's also this glove box that has been given it's decently sized and even on the passenger side you can put like one and a half liter worth of bottle and some more storage on the sides while in the rear you can put about one liter worth of bottle in the door cards in some more storage but there are no cup holders which are given for the rear passenger there are also more storage options which are given on the sides where you can store your I don't know phone when they are charging which is given on both the driver and the passenger side now in terms of the entertainment department along with this 10.1 inch screen you also get six speaker music system which is only available on this mg gt now when you come to these seats these are the leather seats but they are available in three different options which is your black beige color and black and red so in the black and red you have the half seats which are black and on the top surface even along with the interiors it's all red in here and also on the seat itself which is halfway from the headrest and somewhere near around here so you would get those red color but this one is a black color seat with the red color accents which are given out here along with the red stitching and these seats are actually very comfortable even though they are the sporty seats yet they are pretty comfortable for the longer journeys there is also extra bit of support underneath the thigh as well and there is also a nice bit of side support and also at the bottom there is decent amount of support but yeah these seats as i said they are pretty comfortable even in the backrest there is this honeycomb structure that has been given as well and along with this red strip as well and the driver side seat is six way electronically adjustable while the passenger side seat is only manually adjustable now out here in the back there's no compromise in terms of the space because there's decent amount of knee room out here also the seats are slightly curved which gives me additional bit of knee room out here but the headroom yeah because the roof line is sloping and also curving so there is a little bit of a stretch in terms of that department my head is already kind of barely touching there but yeah someone about six feet will start touching their heads against the ceiling and you can also slide your feet under the seat but during the longer journeys to extend your legs while the angle of these seats is quite decent like there isn't enough of support underneath my thigh so during longer journeys again that is going to be comfortable as well the middle row of seat there's a bit of a bump here there's also a bit of a tunnel that is given out here but not too much that will hinder for you to sit in the middle but because of this bump in the rear seat the backrest and also in the bottom of the seat i am nearly touching now my head against the ceiling so yeah the middle seat is going to be quite a temporary arrangement for the passenger that is sitting out here in the middle now these seats are again in black color leather seats with this honeycomb design out here on the top and this red color stripe that has been given you get three headrests which are given out here along with this red color stitching that has been given and in terms of the quality of the materials in the back in the door cards again there is plastic material door cards that are given and then there is this carbon fiber trim near the plastic trim which is near the door handles this honeycomb structure and the speaker grill which is like you know dented with this honeycomb design as well and in terms of the storage as i said you can put one liter worth of water in the door car there's also pocket storage in the driver and the passenger seat there is also a small storage which is given at the bottom where you can put your phones which is underneath the air conditioning vents where you can put your phones there's also one usb port as i mentioned and there is one single vent which is given now the thing is there's at least an air conditioning vent that has been given on this one compared to a few other times we don't get the air conditioning vents so this is a plus point so you have just one vent in the back and you need to adjust who gets the flow of air for the rear passengers but if your passengers are supportive in the rear then yeah you can just leave it in the middle and everyone at least gets to get cooler air in the back so the shoulder line in the rear doors is also pretty low so you get enough of you know views around to look 
and see so it's never going to feel like claustrophobic in here it's just that the rear glass is a little sloping so that is the only thing that reduces the visibility on the rear side but otherwise it's a pretty decent and spacious rear seats on this mg gt so the standard mg gt is powered by a 1.5 liter four cylinder engine whereas the comfortable version of the mg gt and this luxury version of the mg gt is powered by a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that produces 173 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque whereas this engine is maintained to a seven speed DCT gear box whereas the standard one which is just the 1.5 liter has an 8 speed ICVT gear box but in terms of the engine performance and the output it's rather nice this turbocharged engine the only thing is that the turbo there's a bit of a lag in there because the torque usually shoots up after 3000 rpm so you really have to wait for that torque to kick in and not just that the gearbox at the lower speed tends to keep changing the gears quite quickly it's, it's, it's in a bit of a rush to change the gears that's the only thing but once you go through all of that then yes this engine is quite all right and in terms of the efficiency also it's pretty great too so you will get anywhere between 15 to 15 and a half kilometers per liter and you're going to be like going to be a bit you know hard on your right pedal then this efficiency will reduce to around 11 to 12 that is like if you're going too hard then that will happen but nonetheless there is still that efficiency that you get from this tiny 1.5 liter engine and there are also as i said no drive modes that are given on this mggt but instead you have the different options like the driving options so let me change to that and then explain you because once you put the stability control into sport and the steering into dynamic yes the car becomes a little different like the steering becomes a little stiffer as well but apart from that yeah there is not much of a difference you can even flick this into the sport mode like from this gear shifter so that's another way you can just move to like a little more sportier version but on a day-to-day -day, yes this power and this torque is quite ample for day-to-day -day use it's just that when you want to be a little more sporty then that's when you will sometimes feel the need for a bit more and in terms of the response a little bit more and that's about it now when you come to the paddle shifters as well it's again going to be all right so you just need to yeah, flick this into the sport mode and then you can manually change the gears whereas the gear changes takes like half a second sometimes yeah so even that's all right so that's to be expected because it's more of a day-to-day -day car so let me figure it into the automatic mode now when you come to the steering it's actually pretty decent for this small car because yes it's it's quite decently pointy and you get a bit of a feedback from the steering wheel as well and if you put it into the dynamic mode yes the steering has a bit of a weight to it which is what i like and there's like a dual nature like you can switch it into urban normal or the dynamic mode so there are different modes in which you can switch this engine as well so yeah that's one good thing which you can do with this steering setup as well now when you come to the noise and the vibrations there is a bit of a noise and vibrations that you will hear especially from these windows around and also from the sunroof as well and also there is this engine that gets a bit stressed out if you want to accelerate so let me show you by accelerating a little bit but yes again the steering yeah it's pretty sharp that way for this car so when i you see when you accelerate yeah it has a lot of grunt that it will do before it will actually start you know, accelerating but yeah that's the only thing now when you come to the suspensions you get a pretty balanced kind of approach in terms of the suspension because they are not too hard they are not too soft and also there is no way to actually change any of the suspension settings so that's the only thing but there is also a bit of a body roll which I would like to demonstrate by doing a slalom test so but apart from that the chassis itself I think that's a bit of a decent one that I find on this MG GT it's actually a little different car than what I've driven before from the lineup as well so yes the chassis feels a lot 
more stiffer that means when you drive it because it responses quite well but anyways let me show you first the suspension setup because as i mentioned it's not too hard and it's not too soft as well actually it's slightly softer as well but the roll there is a bit of it so if i do a slide yes even though the chassis is in the sport mode and the steering is in the dynamic mode and which is why it's still pretty pointy but yeah there's a bit of a roll that you will encounter as well now when you come to the brakes you get four disc brakes on this mg gt and the performance from that is pretty good and actually i like the pedal setup on this one because it's pretty sharp for this car if i'm honest about it and you know actually and it's pretty gradual that way it's not like a sudden thing where you will just be hit by you know a sudden braking force when you try to stomp on it so i actually want to show you that as well so let me do a 100 to 0 emergency brake i'm sure you're not going to be doing that a lot often but i just want to show you like in case we ever do so how it is going to perform It does stop quite well which is what i said the braking performance is very good but the only thing is there's also an emergency stop signal which sometimes you sh just comes on like once the whole braking action is over and you start moving that's when it actually starts so yeah that's the only thing and sometimes it just yeah never comes but that's only one or like in a hundred times that it would do like this but yes that's the thing and that i've noticed now when you come to the safety systems this mg gt is lined up with the standard safety system so you get six airbags two for the front driver and the passenger two side airbags again for the driver and the passenger there are also two curtain airbags which are available for the driver and the passenger there's also a 360 degree camera system it's a bit laggy but but then i still don't mind because it still gives you that 360 degree ability and not just that when you're at lower speeds below 15 kilometers per hour you can if you're turning around it will show you the respective feed on each side as well so that's one cool thing there is also the child isofix points in both the rear seats there's also the abs there's also the emergency stop signal there's also the esp your traction control system and the different dynamic modes that you get on this one there's also a front collision warning and also the rear collision warning so all that is all given on this mg gd as well now when you come to the pricing of this so the standard mg gt which is just 1.5 liter engine that you get is priced at 54,000 dirhams whereas the comfortable one which starts with 1.5 liter turbocharged engine comes in at 69,000 dirham and the luxury version which is this one comes in at 74,000 dirhams approximately so yeah this for a small car yes it's now in that range where there are lots of players in this category especially the small sedan a car which is this small for everyday use and for that the car has to be efficient which this car is it has to be spacious it is it has to be comfortable which is this car as well there are some glitches in terms of the engine performance yes because the thing is it tries to be a gt car and for that you know if you want that performance thorough one from the turbocharged engine yes it can do a little more and then it actually will be like far better than what is offered in the current segment as well but otherwise as it is it's a pretty decent one because it's pretty loaded it comes with great looks from the outside and uh, the material quality yes in certain places there are things which can be improved but when you, where you're going to be interacting with the car that's pretty good on this mg gt and for that you can yeah definitely check this car out and see it for yourself how it looks how it feels and if it fits for you this is the car for you anyways that's pretty much it for this video give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye take care and stay safe